This file is a constituent file of the Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. This message indicates that the file is missing and, therefore, the corresponding program cannot be run. In case you have accidentally deleted this file check the recycled bin if it is there. Double-click Recycled Bin icon, enter file name in the search box. If the file is there, right-click on it and select Restore. Now let's try reinstalling the problematic software. In our case, it is Skype. Right-click on Windows button, select Apps and Features and in newly opened window scroll down to find the application, or type an application name in search box. Click on the Found app. Some apps will have advanced option selection. If it is your case, then click that. Scroll down to find Reset option, click on it and confirm by clicking Reset again. If your program has no advanced option selection, click on Uninstall button and confirm by clicking Uninstall again. Now you will have to re-download your program and reinstall it. Since we are using Skype as an example we will obtain it from Microsoft Store. Click on Search, type in Skype and press Enter. From Search Results select Skype and in newly opened window click on Get button. After the process is finished, click on Launch button. You should always check if your windows have the latest updates. Click on Windows button, select Settings and in newly opened window select Update and Security option. Then click on Check for Updates button and after the process is finished check if the error still persists. Now let's try a running system file checker. Right click on Windows key and select Command Prompt Admin. In Command Prompt type in the given command and press Enter. After the process is finished, check if problem is solved. Now let's try reinstalling Microsoft Visual C++. Click on Windows button, type in Control Panel, click on it in Search Results and in Newly Opened Windows select Programs and Features option. Then scroll down to find the required version of Microsoft Visual C++, right-click on it and select Uninstall. After that you can choose Repair or Uninstall the package completely. Now let's try installing this file separately. If you are sure that the file was deleted after all, download it again. There is an official website for users to download missing BLL files. This website will provide you with a zip file with required DLL file in it. Extract the contents into the required locations and check if the issue still exists. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.